Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Terrell, also known as Exuberant Gaming. And last week I released a video on how to enhance the audio quality for your stream through using OBS. And if you haven't checked that video out, you can click on this thumbnail over here and it will direct you to it. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to enhance your webcam and get the most out of it by using filters, changing your resolution and video format, as well as reducing possible freezing of your webcam or stuttering. I know I don't have the money to spend $2,000 on a 4K webcam or use another DSLR camera for streaming purposes. So it's about being humble and grateful what you have and trying to make what you have work because as time goes on, you don't need all this fancy equipment, but once you're able to have the money to invest in them, then you can use that stuff if you'd like to. However, this video is made to help you enhance your stream quality and look more professional on Twitch for what you have. And that's why I'm gonna go over how to fix your webcam. On a side note, yes, lighting is very important for this. However, uh, you, if you don't have it, these filters will allow you to squeeze out as much as possible out of your webcam if you don't have these settings already. So without further ado, we're gonna jump on the Chinchilla Warriors headquarters computer over here, and we're gonna show you how to get down with that get down, baby. Let's go. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chinchilla Warriors headquarters and today I'm going to share with you how to enhance your webcam quality and what settings it is that I use for my stream to get the best picture quality possible. Do note to be able to achieve this you do need proper lighting whether it be natural lighting or artificial lighting and I choose artificial lighting due to being able to control how I keep my webcam looking throughout the day. I currently have two box lights in front of me. I have a back halo light behind me and two LED lights on the floor to project different colors during different situations during the stream. I'm also going to be showing you how to possibly fix any stuttering or freezing on your webcam as well as possible audio delays that you may be experiencing on your webcam. So. After showing that, I'm also going to give you the filter of the color correction that I use to, you know, help fine tune my webcam, but then we go deeper into the webcam settings to help squeeze out the best possible solution for your webcam so you can have that best picture quality possible. So with that being said, we're going to start off by making sure that our OBS is up to date by going up and clicking on help, going down to check for updates. And then once you have the most recent version of OBS installed, we can move on to the next step. Now I'm going to assume that you don't have your webcam connected to your sources yet. So once you have your scene selected, you move on over to your sources and you hit plus sign and then you would go to video capture device and click on that. If you have multiple webcams, you're going to have to do this for those different cameras individually. But for me, I only have one. So what I did was I added the one and called it webcam. Once I did that, I clicked OK and it was added to my sources. And when you get it added to your sources, what you want to do is look over at your mixer and find whatever that camera or cameras that you labeled and make sure to click on the speaker and turn it red so it mutes it. So this is going to get rid of any problems of you talking into your microphone as well as talking in to your webcam at the same time. So once you have those muted, we're gonna go over to the webcam and we're gonna change the resolution real quick. And you do that by right clicking on webcam, going to properties and then popping up this box right here. Once you're inside this box, you're gonna to go to your resolution and click on it and choose whatever resolution that you wanna use. But I'm just gonna go through everything that I use to make this video a lot easier and you can move off from there. However, I'm at 1920 by 1080, so I would click on it, hit okay and guarantee you if this is the first time that you set up your webcam your webcam is going to look crazy probably something like this so you would fix it by clicking on one of the red squares and holding down shift and then moving it down to the right size that you're looking for now let's say for instance you can't get it to be in a certain area because it keeps on skipping over some per cert certain blocks or little spaces on here 
you would hold down control and you'd be able to move that camera around precisely and put it where you need it to be. So once you have your camera set up, go back into webcam, click on properties, and then we're gonna go down all these settings right here. And do note that you wanna make sure you're on your right device. So since I only have one cam webcam, it's only showing me my Logitech webcam C930 here. So make sure you selected the right camera before you go through these settings and start changing them up. Currently, I have no filters on here. So this is what my camera looks like raw. So we're gonna go through and change everything and give a little bit more explanation on what each one of these things do. So currently resolution FPS type is on custom because I've already changed my resolution. FPS, match output FPS is how many FPS your webcam can get. This webcam can only get 30 FPS max. I believe the C922 can actually get 60 FPS. However, if you do experience any type of lagging or stuttering, I do recommend you bringing it back down to 30 FPS because it seems to be optimal for this webcam. I'm not too sure about the C922. I'm just assuming technical stuff. If you have more FPS, that means there's more information going from your webcam to your PC, outputting to your stream, therefore causing more possible issues. So moving on, we're going to move to video format. And video format is actually kind of important, especially if you're experiencing any type of stuttering or freezing on your webcam. So originally when I was using any, when I, while I was recording, my stream would freeze on me occasionally. I had to change this to MJPEG to be able to cut back on freezing frames or possible stuttering on my webcam, even on the recording aspect of things. So I can make a video about that later on in the future, but make sure that you have your video format on MJPEG if you are experiencing those issues with your webcam. My YUV color space is on default because the numbers don't make a difference for me. So I just left it on default and YUV color range is on partial because if I put it on full, it actually made my webcam look worse. My buffering is on auto detect. The flip vertically, I don't have that on because I don't need to flip my webcam vertically. So I have that unchecked. My audio output mode and audio device, these are both you know, for me, I don't think they make a difference because we've already muted our microphone on the webcam. So if you want to change these, go ahead. For me, I did capture audio only on audio output mode. And I also checked the use custom audio device. And then I switched my audio device to my mixer, which is where my microphone's coming from. But after I changed those settings, it didn't seem like it did anything for me. So that's why I'm not too sure about those two settings. So you can change those if you want to. Once you change all of that, hit OK and then close out. I have unchanged settings. Hmm, what is unchanged? Change that, match output. Video format is on the wrong format. There we go. All right, change that back. Partial and OK. Boom. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the webcam we're going to right click go into the filters and i'm going to show you what the filter does i have none on right now this is what the camera looks like raw without me changing anything yet however what we're going to do is go to color correction and we add this by clicking on this plus sign down here going to color correction and it's going to add here in this little box since i've already changed all my settings i'm going to turn mine on real quick but you have these dials, as you can see, the difference in picture quality from no filters to having filters. This is what this does. It adds a little bit more juice to your camera without having to go into your webcam settings and messing with those. However, we are gonna go into our webcam settings and mess with those just to fine tune everything that we've already added here in our filter. So my gamma, I have it at negative 0.96. So I'll move it up and down to give you an idea of what gamma does. It makes it lighter or darker. So let me put this back at negative nine, six. Contrast, I got that at 0.13. So the contrast, pretty much the same thing. You can make it oversaturated or looking like the predator using night visual goggles, night vision goggles. So we were at point, 16.9 negative 19 there 
and then we have the brightness where we can move up or down so we'll leave that at 0.5 where it was at saturation 0.46 so going down makes it go gray going up adds more color so 0.56 And then hue shift, you can look like a smurf if you want to. There's me looking like a smurf, or you can look like the Incredible Hulk. You know, so you can mess around with all these settings. If you mess up any of these settings, you can always hit defaults and it goes back to being normal again. But once you find the right filters that you want to use, then you're going to be good to go with your filters and you're never going to have to change these again unless you want to. So opacity is going to make your webcam look transparent so i have my maxed out at 100 and then select color you can actually click on this and add a color if you want to add some type of like blue filter or yellow filter and change up just have like a little bit of a tint on here if you would like to i don't mess with it i don't need it so like i said if you mess up with any of these settings inside here all you got to do is hit default and it's going to reset it everything back to normal and you can mess with these over and over and over again once you're happy with them you close out or x and then now we're going to move over to the in-depth web webcam settings and you do that by right clicking on webcam going to properties and then going to let me minimize this real quick a little bit go into properties then you go to configure video once you're in the configure video i'm gonna move this over real quick and then i'm sure you guys can still see my webcam I'll pop this up move this over move this on top okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fine tune what we did to our filters in obs and what i like to do is normally before i start streaming because of audio delay issues is i make sure my exposure is unchecked I also make sure my low light compensation is unchecked and I do this every time before I get on and stream because usually when they're on there's gonna be some type of audio delay coming from my microphone to my webcam to the viewers so I always make sure that those two options are unchecked also my exposure I can leave it at negative five I usually like it at negative six and then I can mess around with my lighting that I have behind me that's why I like the idea of having backlighting or unnatural lighting because you're able to control what you do to your webcam so now it allows the colors in the back to really pop and it looks a little bit more natural so for me, I have mine at negative six. You don't want to go too high on this because then you're going to be skipping everywhere and it's too bright and you don't want to go too low because that's too dark. But negative six is good for me. This is going to be situational for everybody. Pan tilt, I zero, tilt at zero. Zoom, I leave it at 100. I leave the autofocus checked because if you don't have that checked, sometimes you change these settings and your camera goes out of focus and it won't go back. So now, you're pretty much screwed until you reset or turn these back on again so let's go back to video proc and here's where you're going to be able to fine tune everything on your stream as far as webcam quality so brightness you can make it a little bit brighter that looks a little bit too bright bring that there contrast here you can make your colors pop a little bit more so i'm gonna bring that up a little bit might be a little bit too much might have to bring the brightness down saturation makes the colors pop a little bit more so if you want a little bit more red or you want a darker tone to your complexion you're able to add saturation sharpness is legit this actually makes your camera look blurry or you know you can look like you're playing minecraft but this increases how the quality of your webcam looks and you don't want it too high you don't want it too low so i got mine about 155 and that looks no let's go back 155 down about 150 that looks pretty good for that and then white balance we have checked if you have it unchecked <laughs> it looks horrible unless you're going for a blue tint but i leave that checked 
and then backlight i leave down and gain you can move that up and down it's kind of like brightness as well i actually brought that up a little bit more so yeah that looks a little bit better for sure from where we first started so those are the settings that i use once you get that done you hit okay and you are now officially good to go once you hit okay on that you can hit okay on this box too and boom those are the settings that i use for me streaming to twitch but you can use this streaming to any platform and it's going to enhance your webcam quality and make your stream look that much more professional I hope this video helped you and stay tuned as I will be releasing more content videos to help you enhance your streaming capabilities and making it look more professional. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out of here. If you've made it this far in the video and have been helped with enhancing your webcam quality using OBS, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel as I will be releasing more content in the future on how to enhance your stream overall from all the streaming tips that I've learned over the years of streaming. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'm out of here. Peace, love, and chicken grease.